welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mona. Today I have guests. My sister, that are not. Hi guys, my name is Kim Tobea. Yeah, I'm, and I'm Amy, going by the name Raising Baby Ella in Africa in my YouTube channel. I also have a YouTube channel. Go there and subscribe. Yes. Yeah. So guys, today we'll be talking about we'll be addressing or talk about the African home yeah. divorces, failed marriages, marriages. Yeah. our take as African girls being raised in the African country, in the continent, born and raised. Yes. So we'll be talking about the societal pressures, aunties, failed yeah. <laughs> and these are the issues that yes. is up there happening in failed the marriages. Day. Yeah. Child bearing out of wedlock. Mm. Yes, the modern way, the modern African. Mostly, yeah, about African men. Yes, yeah. men mm -hmm. and women. Yeah, also. both of them. Yeah, so we'll be talking in our perception as women. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Our perception as women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll start with uh, why, are, why are African men mm. afraid of successful women, both at work and both at home? So we'll be discussing. Feel free. Feel free to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very true. I've seen it so first hand mm -hmm. that men, especially like one was uh, very she was just working uh, she she was a secretary, just a, just a normal civil job and the husband was a pilot. Yeah. Like she continued studying and even got her bachelor degree yeah. and of course she got a promotion and she started working with the UN. Yeah, and she's now successful. And she's very successful. Very. She got her, her car at 40 yeah. at 40. So the first day when she got her first like first money, she got her car. And then this husband started having a certain oh, feeling certain yeah, way. Yeah. She 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 confiscated the car. She he behaved like the car is his. Eh? So even the lady didn't even the the lady didn't even get the full benefit of the car. He confiscated with the egoistic African men culture. Yeah. It's like everything that belongs to the woman is theirs yeah. automatically. So he took this car. He destroyed even this guy who drive the car and he any just jealousy. is yeah. very very violent. Even when when the woman because now the woman was earning more than her husband. When this woman come down I like have a lot of money to tell the man we should do this, we should buy this land, we should yeah. build this house and then he gives the man the man he gives the man the money because he's the man of the house. Mm -hmm. I wish this culture will go by then. They want it's to be she, wants, she wanted to culture. be successful they together, together, together yeah. because mm -hmm. they were childhood sweeters by the way. Mm -hmm. So this man will, will take the money and eat it all. Yeah. And when the woman asks he will he will beat her, beat her, beat her, beat her controllably. Yeah. But I'm so happy, like I think she's more exposed now they usually they are currently separated she had enough is enough mm -hmm. and they are separated now and now she's doing even better she has many land she has a house in the village and like she's, she's very, very built and she's very happy oh, yeah. and she's bought another car because the man went with the car it's he like it's his so they are like like that but the man is refu refusing to divorce her mm -hmm. completely and even he wants the cows back those, that, those are the challenges that we are experiencing as African women. Yes. Yeah, African men don't like. But I'm not talking about all men. We are talking about some men, some of the men, yes. African men. Yes. So don't name us. Okay, all in all, that is the ego. It's the mm. ego is the, the I feel like the myth and cultures they favor. They tend to favor, especially men. in the Kisi tribe. It tends to favor men a lot. Mm. There is no equality at all in the in the traditional myths and culture. Yeah. And what about how do you see our African parents? African did, did, did parents. Did like dates? Did they love them? Yani, yani, that's my question. So me, you know, I can say with my own parents, my African parents, and they are from the like they, they are like 40, 40 centuries ago. Can I say forty? It's 40, yeah. it's 40, 40 or 50 centuries ago. So when I was growing up with them, they used to, like my dad will annoy my mom, and then 
<laughs> my dad will annoy my mom. I will not, will not understand why, but I will hear them arguing. But the next day, my mom will, will, will see my dad. Getting ready, they go together and they go to drink because my mom loves soda a lot. A lot, she loves soda a lot. So they'll go and have a and so I think that's a date. And they have a job, and so they'll go and sit themselves out to now. And they used to go out and they used to eat the Yeah, so they used to be in an army. 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 And on the other side, about dating, as in like dating couple, like in the century, like my grandparents. Yeah, I found out I was very fond of my grandmother, the mother's side, and she used to tell me that she she had that arranged marriage. She was married at 13 years. She didn't know that she's going to get married. Like when she was out of her of their house, she just went. And she was given the, my now my grandfather, yeah, and that's how they the started. Of, uh, father, my fa my mom's side, my mm. mom's side, mm. and that's how they started. And yeah, at thirteen she they like she was a jack when she was going to the story. Is not like, not a jack. No, she wasn't a jack. She didn't know. know. She didn't know. Ah, she didn't know that she was going to to be nini telekwad. Not what uh, yeah, now her husband that went got out of their house home. So that was not even a date. She was she didn't go for a date. She just went I'll ask a question. What do you do prefer now? Arrange marriage or me marriage? Yeah. We date, we court and me me after dating after dating separately, me I wouldn't even mind arranged marriage. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> they, nowadays I wouldn't even, mind. I, I think that culture the, that generation yeah, is so. coming slowly again. You because can't... even me now I've I have uh, somebody that I feel like I can introduce to to my relatives. So that is yeah. also a me. That's nice. Because even me when if I see my marriage life, mm. I caught nearly caught na air and it was perfect. But when mm. Mm. once you let me Malisana to be married, yeah. when you are married they totally became another person. So I can arrange marriage. You? Yeah. Yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, back in the days the, our in our culture and kissy culture, mm. we they used to to circumcise women, women also. <laughs> so that time when the the circumcision that that it shows that that woman is ready to go to home. But nowadays we don't do that. Like Ella will not be circumcised. I don't like that tradition. I oppose it, right, Papa Ella? Yeah, Did she you? would get circumcised even now. Daddy, mm. you can. And then, we'll, yeah, we'll go to women's. At a sisi wana wake, we are the fault. Mm. Eh? About the housework. Housework? Yeah. Hi, me, I don't see anything wrong. Now we have to do things equal. equal. Yes. You yes. go to work, the same, yes. and then you come oh, back. Because of you. You share the bill. You have to be seated at the same. You're seated waiting yes. until you do the. You cook and do all the, the cleaning. Those, nini, the those cultures they are supposed yeah. to be That's married. That's not what I'm about marriage. Can they marry it? Yeah. 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 I don't know. <laughs> customary marriage. Yeah. Yes, customary marriage. Will you prefer customary or today's nini marriage? Yeah, customary marriage is what you want to wear in the country. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. that's nice. Mm. Mm. It is called Jigga Jigga. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. You have to share. It's about time we train them. Yeah. Hey, guys, ladies, I'm talking to you, wives, yeah. women in general. You have to train them. We are not, we are yeah. not, we are not machines at that we wake up and we, we go to work and the then we come back. Is, can I yeah. say, we can we go back to, to, to me like 10 years ago? Yeah, because you know, like well, my men used to think African men think we are going to speak in total African men. Mm. African men think that marrying a wife is marrying a housemaid. Mm. They think like that. They think that because you are the woman, you need to wash his clothes, wash the children, feed the children, change the children diapers, like feed the whole family and still work. It used to work in the long times ago because the men were going to hunt. Yeah. But to, in today's modern world, even African and modern world, okay, mm. we are civilized. We are at least a level of civility. Is, uh, it's not like those African movies or what you see in CNN. We are modernized there. But now, the man wants the same and still wants the woman to pay for the bills. And which at the end which. of the day, we are both working. Yeah. We all should share responsibility equally. And I'll add on this also. You do yes. all the housework, and at yes. night, yes. you're all tired. He expects you to perform Home in bed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to work, do the work equally. Because yes. even if you want to perform, you enjoy it. But yeah. the, some of them are selfish. But you know, yeah. the Kitambo, the, that mm -hmm. back, back in the days, yeah, yeah men, they didn't know that the, the woman also mm -hmm. has the feelings. No, yeah, it was mm. rough, rough. It was like even if you want, even if you don't want, you, you do have it. to do it. So that it feeling mm. of sexual satisfaction, satisfaction it was not there for a woman. Yeah. And you are supposed yeah. to be aroused first because yeah. we are we are we are we women. Yeah. I'm talking to my fellow women. What about me? I feel like that's why even like the modern African woman feels like it's better to be single than to be married because in a marriage it's like you are raising <laughs> the husband and the kids also at the same time. They feel neglected, they feel their needs are not uh, accounted for and they feel like they are the slave of their whole household. And that's why divorces are happening now. Mm. It's about time we start we talk about this, we address this issue. Some things are supposed to change. Culture, mission culture. Mm. It was very rare for that to happen. to happen because even if you have maybe you have you are pregnant, you are being forced to go to that man who yes. made you pregnant. So mm. so that they stop yeah. this child bearing out of well which has which has which, its pros and cons mm -hmm. and for me I feel it's still so many cons. But today's women even miss are easy. Eh? Mm -hmm. If if I was not Nini, think I can badly give birth mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in the end of is the marriage sometimes when the department you are here there. Yeah, 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 married to it's yourself. better if you remain single but I'm married. But yourself. yeah, you're married to a son. So, so you see, now when you you are forced to go to that man who made you pregnant, mm. you will just go yes. You the, the, that man maybe will not even be interested with you. Now you will be like you are wives. being that you are being married to maybe yeah. his mother. Yeah. And well, because she, he will not be interested with you, he will still marry. That's why you see many in the customer even in it, are more polygamous marriages yeah. also. Mm. Yeah. Even though in the custom of Kenya now, the laws of Kenya now, they allow men to be polygamous. Mm. Yeah, it's better yeah. than for someone who's going at your corner, so you decide to check there. But the thing is, they can't even support their own self. So it's yeah. really funny when they marry many wives and they can't even support their own self. And mm. also, again, I see mm. it's better than the... Because me, I'm opposing the customary marriage, whereby someone is just staying there in the marriage because, because of customary, of customary society mm. also. Mm. Evil. So I feel like I'm opposing. It's better I stay out of... I stay out of marriage without being resentful because at the end of it you get resentment. resentment. Yeah, sometimes you feel like because I've had this uh, this uh, this family I've had like this um, woman she has a she has a 25 year old 
daughter and she was like telling like she was never happy in her marriage so her child asked her why why were you not happy she just said ever since i got married i was never happy and i've never been happy so a child a child asked her it was a daughter so you're trying to say all my years all my 25 years you are never happy that means that you are not even happy to have me as a child that will impact the child because the child will have a negative effect about men and to say the truth being soulmates being a, being with a companion you love it's it's more rewarding than forcing you know marriage the bible kind of marriage didn't say that you just have to get married you have to be married in the soul not even in the in the church or whatever it's just for your two souls that's why it's called soulmate so mm-hmm. if you get the right partner and you are both happy it will be a really good companionship yeah. because many people enter marriages thinking that they'll be young forever but you don't think me what i saw between my mom and my dad it was a really a companionship because my dad before he died he was really sick can you imagine if this someone doesn't love you when he was younger so you can imagine when you're getting married to someone when you are young he doesn't care about you so imagine when you are getting older you are sick because this was mean a lot in sickness and in health in in hotel so I mean, when you are getting older like you are sick or you are getting sick and then this person abandons you at your time it's, you will feel like he wasted or she wasted all your youth towards this <laughs> So me for me I feel it's better if I'm not getting married for for love I'm for companionship or for companionship companionship do the better companionship than love so I'm doing but I'm talking about it but I'm yeah like man took care of dad yes so I feel like don't get married because of society pressures but in african in african in african homes people tend in certain age you need to get married you need to have children it's like you're having children for society you're having you're getting married for society and that's why at in the end there are many broken families the ella will have to excuse herself because yes. the ella is faster than any such a okay bye bye bye, bye. 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 Continue talking about that. Uh, for, uh, so seven kids. This question: Why are today's generation mm. don't like helping their parents, old parents, like uh, like us, for example? For example, like us, yeah. we help our mom. Mm. Yeah. Why? I feel like the the millenniums. They're called the millenniums. Mm. I think that they should be even trillions. Mm. <laughs> the millenniums. They have this care. Me, I don't have it because I just feel like the more you get older, the more wise you become. But the millenniums think that getting like the old people are mediocre. They don't want to associate with the with the old people, so they feel like they are they are, they they are wasting everything. time. We are wasting time sticking with their old parents or things like that. They feel like. Uh, they they don't want they're, they're losing out for on the fun when they are there with the old people yeah. so they and feel they, like they want to live the fast life and they feel, feel and that their parents are boring yeah they they don't know anything they are mediocre they are old fashioned they don't know the world of today and they are very wise i've stayed with my mother she has taught yeah. me a lot Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, but they have matured enough yeah. i've stayed with her she has really taught me a lot about life yeah. they know more about life than us because they have been through the generation to generation yeah yeah so guys so i'll ask you how will you bridge the gap between the older generation and the today's year so me for me i see for example like you have to teach your children how to respect you to treat you and how to take care of you if you take care of them fully and honestly fully not just by giving them money and doing money just to be there with them also like bringing up like being in their life being in their school activities being in their all any just being there physically raising them physically don't let them be raised by nannies or maids 
Mm. You also need to have a hand on raising your children. And if you show them that you care also for your parents, like for me, if I like for you, okay, you all have a child already. For you, when you have Aiden, you should show Aiden like how you take care of your mom. He 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 will learn from how there. to take care of you. But if you if you don't take care of your mom, if you put your mom in the um, home center, you're just teaching your child. What, uh, what he'll do when you you grow older, he'll just put you in the in the home or something. Like you'll just like teach them, like is. yeah, take care of the take care of your of your parents so that your children see how you take care of your parents, yeah. and that's how you cultivate. Show by by action, don't show by just talking. I agree with Kabuta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's about time now. Mm. Mm. It's about time we bridge that gap. Yes. And another thing, don't uh, don't have children as a retirement plan again. You see, my <laughs> that's the problem with Africa. Most African parents, it's good if you take care of them, but please, when you're giving children, don't think that they are because children are failures. We fail, mm. we fail too because of the economy. We don't know what will happen. So if you have that chance to to like for me, my parents, I can say. They they invested in their home. They invested in something that they can lean back towards it. They don't need our help to survive. They don't need it. But I think let it let it just be a bonus. But try and invest in yourself. Don't say that you're having kids as a retirement plan. Mm. <laughs> it may backfire so bad. Especially now with the economy in Kenya, you'll find it's backwards. The parents are the ones who are helping the the children, and it's not because it's uh, the children are lazy. It's because of the economy that we have right now. The Thirty years ago, our economy was it was really good, but now we have we the economy is so bad. The world, our uh, Kenya is so corrupt. I don't care. It's the truth. Yeah. So. It turns like and the corona has made it more worse. Even more worse. Yeah, the economy is down as mm. we're speaking. Imagine at 30, I'm almost 30 something yeah. years. Mm. Eh? I'm back living with my mom. It's yeah. not Nini, it's but it's not good. Nice. It's a benefit for mm. me and her, yes. but it's not good. Okay, that's what But even the village, no, this is another perception. Uh, but I love to, saying to, the village. Yes, yeah. this is another perception, and I've learned it the hard way. YouTube has made me see the goodness of living in the village. If I just put, if I just work really hard and put the facilities that the utilities like water, running water, Wi-Fi and electricity, those basic things. They want life to in get the, the city. life in the, the village, same, yeah. it's it's not even the same. It's perfect. Yeah, it's like we're in Rwanda, guys. Mm -hmm. But where I live in Nairobi, it's like a project. Yes, project or a slum. A slum. I'm just I'm saying. I'm being say, honest. Yeah. I'm being honest. The quality of life in the in the countryside cannot cannot compare with the city life. So mm. if it's just being the basic necessity, life will be good. That's the Even problem with millennials. Millennials think they just want to stay in the city, the first life, and the end you don't invest in anything. You don't even have a piece of land. Mm. You don't have anything. Mm. So, yeah. guys, this one, I love this one. Why some of the African men selfish in bed? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's the yeah, egoistic. Yeah, so Selfish. many conclusion is most African men are egoistic. Yes. And it's how you teach your kid. Like me, I have Aiden. I'm supposed yeah. to teach him he how to cook. Risk. He can cook, he yes. can do his own can, thing. Yeah. He can share work to house calls. Yeah. He, when he grows up and marries, yeah. he's supposed to help his wife. Yes. It's up, it's, it's up to me now. Yeah. I'm the one yeah. who will train him yeah. how to be when he grows up. Yeah. So yeah. The, that's the, another thing I hate, I don't like about African homes mm -hmm. and African families. You'll find like this is also another family I uh, witness this a lot. This family has a has a, has a daughter. I find the mother will ask the daughter to do everything, and when the son wants to help, he'll say, 
no this is one to talk about now me i fake wash of your bo i fake pick up pick up him to talk about jacola and then him tell even it doesn't even know how to order from or, or order when Online. no one is in the in the house he, he, the woman is in the office is like he'll be so stressed like he has to a man because he doesn't want his son to go to the kitchen it makes him gay he feels like that so it starts with us african women mm -hmm. we, we are the pillars of our african homes so we need to start with our children yes we are the problem yes some of us it's Most our fault for, for showing a man that he can do all that yes the house calls Hakuna vile ni za toka job na yetu umetoka asubuhi ni prepare yeah. everything in the morning teach and then how yeah, teach a man how to treat you mm. and how to help you with the mm. house Hakuna vile nitatoka asubuhi niende job pamoja na yeye and then mm. when I come back he's already at home yes. atameketi anaona TV I have to post to, to clean everything the house mm. cook nini nini and at night tena bado aenda ni malizie kazi yes hey. and when it's time hey. to pay rent you split yeah so it's high time we speak out as yeah. women So yes, I think that's all. Yeah. So today, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Feel free to comment down below your views. Yes. And help me. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, yes. Kemto Bear. Comment down below if you like this kind of topics for more for more oh. topics like this. Yeah. And please support my channel. I write my account down below on PayPal, Sendwave, and. and Yeah. So bye for now.